everyone uh, in this short video tutorial I will explain you how to write a code in the structured text PSC programming language through an example so our aim is to uh, is to implement the traffic lights control system which is shown here and we want to develop the code in the structured text programming language you can see here that we have and uh, north south traffic lights and we have east west traffic lights assuming that we have one set of lights for north south and one set of lights for the east west in an intersection let's say and you can see here how the system is implemented using the ladder logic diagram uh, elements so as you can see here we are using four on delay timers with different values for the uh, preset time and they are receiving inputs from each other in it and to determine the state of the output pilot lamps in each direction we are using a combination of the enable bit and down bit of different timers now I will explain you how to do this in it how to go through this piece of code wrong by wrong indeed in the structured text programming language so for that I already have created a project, a codice project I have declared some of the variables especially the boolean one red, amber and green in the north, in the north south direction and red, amber and green in the east west direction so they are for sure boolean I have a quite simple visualization in the east-west direction I have three lights and in the north-west direction I have these three lights as well now we can start to uh, indeed we can yeah, start our structured text programming so since we have three we are using these four timers in it I can start to uh, declare them I will call them T01 um, of type T1 um, T02 um, T03 um, T04 um, all of them are the type of the uh, variables in it T01 on till T04 on is on delay timer and now here we, we just indeed start to develop the code the first rung of the code here is at on delay timer the first on delay timer with the preset value of 30 seconds and it is receiving uh, indeed the negated one bit of timer number 3 so we can just call this like this T on 0 1 is the instance of our Andre timer then inside indeed if I just type one parenthesis if I open the parenthesis we can see the input variables and output variables in and PT are the input so I need to determine in input variable which here is not t um, 03.q and the preset value pt is equal to 30 seconds so I need to type t hashtag 30 seconds and that's all for this Uh, okay, so for some reason PT is not recognized here. I should have equality sign in it. Let's try to do the same thing for the second timer. Now it's recognized in it. In the case of second timer, the input is done with of the first timer. So 
so here indeed we have tl01.q and preset time is equal to 25 seconds tl yeah 0 to end it not to The third line is again the next underlay timer for which the input is uh, let me just yeah the input of the third timer is the done bit of second timer let's go back to calysis so it's t um, 02.q and preset time is given as 5 seconds in the next line we have the force on the late timer preset time is 25 seconds and its input is the enable bit of the first timer so we need to write t on zero four for which input is indeed is comes indeed from the input or enable bit of the first timer and preset time is equal to five seconds if I'm not wrong okay it's 25 seconds in it so now we are done with uh, in it calling the timers on delay time on on delay timers and determining the inputs and the preset times for them the only thing which is left is to determine the state of the output pilot lamps or the traffic lights so here we can see that red receives signal from enable bit of first timer and negated down bit of the first timer again so we will have red uh, this is for the north south ns receives value from t um, zero one dot the enable bit is the in bit in it and the done bit of the first timer again but negated not t on zero one dot q for green green north south we need to assign the value and as you can see here it is enable bit of first second timer and negated down bit of the second timer I just copy and paste it here and change the timer and for the amber light we have the same but using the third timer in it so this will become amber this will be under a timer 3 and on the timer 3 and then for the green pilot lamp amber pilot lamp or amber light in it and and the red in the east south east west direction we have similar situation so let me start with the green again I just copy this paste it and change the name of the variable so we have east west we refer to force timer so here timer yeah 4 3 is our force timer the enable bit of it or the input and the not done bit of the same timer then for amber East-West 
we have done bit of the fourth timer and not done bit of the first timer so this should become Q of the fourth timer and not negated done bit of the first timer so this is one dot Q and we already have this not in front and the last one is for the red light so red is fast receives value from done bit of the first timer so that's what we have here and in it that's all this is quite simple example for the structured text programming uh, now we just need to compile let's just build it to see whether we have any errors or mistakes in writing the code if everything is let's see if, yeah, if everything is fine then we can there are no errors now we can log in Uh, okay, so before that we need to set the online mode into simulation because we are not going to connect to any device. And then do login. Okay, and let's see if we can run our code. Okay, here we are. Uh, okay, I guess the reason for this problem is here. So we need to type here with your no exception handling and try again. And hopefully this time it will work. Uh, okay, it's, yeah, indeed it works, but I just have forgotten to assign variables to to the lights here. So I need to do it now. In the properties for each pilot lamp, we need to determine the variable. So this is, this should be assigned or associated with the red east west, red east west. This one with amber east west. This one with green east west. red north south red north south amber north south and green north south and that's all let's try again I hope this time everything will be fine. And here we are. So here in in the structured text programming environment in the runtime you can see the values of the variables indeed as you may notice here. So the input to this timer is true, the output is still false, and you can see them in different colors. And now the state has changed, and you, if you follow this, you will notice uh, how the timers are working. So they are indeed, uh, they receive the inputs from other timers, and then they start uh, delaying and timing and after a while they are done and 
you can see that the effect here yeah this is quite similar to the real life scenario for the traffic control in the intersection uh, okay so I think it's all for this video I hope you have enjoyed this and you have learned how to start programming the structured test text programming uh, environment especially when you have the the program in the ladder logic which is already available but you want to uh, redo it using the ST programming language thank you for watching and see you next time